Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Atiku to Buhari. Stop wasting scars forexed on imported fuel. Hmm. Atiku don't give on to Buhari in case you don't know Atiku. Eh? Atiku was um, the vice president to um, um, Olusegun Obasanjo. He also contested... Um, you know, um, for PDP against Buhari in 2019, but Buhari won. Now he's giving a warning to Buhari. Let's go to the news and get all the details. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar set the current situation whereby NNPC uses scarce foreign exchange to import fuel at subsidy rate is not sustainable. So guys, and do you know what? We, 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 they get crude oil in this country. We have an NPCO. They send it out of Nigeria to refine and bring it back to Nigeria. I don't understand the colonality of Nigerian government. It's all a scam to make more money for themselves. The people they are in business with are making money. But let's continue with the news so you can get all the details. Instead, he asks Buhari's administration to liberalize the nation downstream oil sector immediately. There, there is refinery in um, in, um, in in some places in 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 the, in the country. I know there is refinery in Wari. There is refinery, I think, in in Port Harcourt. In some places, let's use them. They shut down these refineries and they send it out of the country. Then buy it back again, paying in dollar rates. Can you imagine? Let's continue. He said Nigeria is not just the most inefficient OPEC country in terms of refinery, capi refinery capacity, but also the largest importer of petrol in the world. Atiku criticized criticism of Nigerian's oil sector is a direct kick on the face for President Muhammadu Buhari as he is the subsidies oil minister. Hey, hey. The former, the former vice president made a fresh criticism in a statement issued by the media office in Abuja on Sunday. He said the focus of the federal government should be to aggressively drive the enhancement of our local capacity to process large quantity of our crude oil for domestic consumption. So they, they, they send the one they want to send abroad, abroad to be refined. They do some here, but not in full capacity. Let's continue. He also urged government not to be fixed over price fixing, but that it should be flexible. He emphasized that closely related to this is the need to build the enabling infrastructure to add value to the economic via the development of petrochemical facilities. Though these will allow the country to impact upon so many sectors, including agriculture, pharmaceutical, textiles, and construction, as well as food processes, he said. According to him, Unido est estimated that up to 1 million new jobs can be created in Nigeria within 10 years through investment in petrochemicals and petrophamaceutical facilities based activities on the promise on the property of fixing of the pump price of fuel he noted that the price of petrol is to determine is is not to be determined by the price of the crude oil nigeria is an oil producing country and as such we should not be hiking our price for local consumption the price of crude and fuel the price of crude and fuel can be can fall even further and go down without anyone noticing, without it affecting the federal treasury. Nigeria as it stands today does not even have the money to continue to involve in back stopping fuel price of pump or sending it abroad for processing. And the way to go is to liberalize the downstream subsector and not to fix price as long as the markets can import, impart on their own and sell. 
He lambasted that Nigeria is by far the most inefficient OPCE member country in terms of both the percentage of installed refinery capacity that works and the percentage of crude oil refined trailing behind the countries like Iraq and Libya that have recently been at war and experiencing civil strifes. Atiku Abubakar said the way out of this embarrassing situation is to practically invest to grip on our domestic refinery capacity and to ensure that Nigerian starts to process domestically at least 50% of its current crude oil output of 2 million barrel per day. This, he said, can be achieved within a very short time if government encourage private sector participation under liberalized that downstream. Atiku Abubakar position follows report of another planned adjustment in the pump price of premium motor spirit, PMS, otherwise known as petrol. The planned reduction is coming against the backdrop of an earlier one from 145 to 125 per liter in March. He lamented that Nigeria is by far the most inefficient OPC member country in both the percentage of installed refinery capacity that work. He urges the federal government to equip our refineries so they can get into full capacity instead of exporting and re-importing. He, reg he regulated that Nigeria is currently the largest import of MPS in the world, noting that not only is this counterproductive for economy, it's equal has significant balance of trade implication, implication, especially in this season of COVID-19 economic meltdown due to refined oil products being by far the single largest import item which Nigeria is currently engaging with foreign currency and exchange. He regretted that Nigeria is currently the he regarded that Nigeria is currently the largest import of MPC in the world and that Nigeria should continue and despite the, despite the outbreak of COVID-19, if we can do this, Nigeria will stay afloat in this season. And given the extensive capacity outlet this has made command our global economy should be able to continue and to thrive even in this season. For new ones, our effect is to direct the economy, gradually adding revenue and creating jobs. The report that our refinery did not produce petrol in eight months even make the case of the privatization of four refineries to pave way for private investors that will stiff up the production and profitability. They will take full responsibility and will tell them what to give to the government. He, however, welcomed the recent announcement that the refiners, re, refineries will be privatized and urged that the process be accelerated. Well, my people, you don't hear them all. Atiku Abubakar, former vice president of the country, has condemned, in fact, has kicked Buhari in the face, saying President Muhammadu Buhari never do well at all. He has not used all the facilities that he has in his disposal to get the best in Nigeria in terms of Nigeria economy. Atiku seems to be very, very vast in analyzing and making sure that, you know, regarding economic growth and things that can move Nigeria forward, especially regarding the oil market, Atiku seems to be very, you know, very on point. One of the things he said during his campaign was privatizing of these very refineries that APC used again him to say he wanted to give it to his friends and as such those were part of the reasons why he lost the election but guess what guys the same very um examples he gave and the very uh uh the very uh you know uh, opportunities and reasons that he gave is the same thing oh don't forget to so my people our refineries are oh, the four refineries we have in, we have in the country are all going to be privatized oh, by buhari and this was what buhari used against pdp see my guys from today go may nobody trust anything when you come out of a politician 
trust me majority of them if we get 90 if we get 100 eh, 90.9.999 na liars P apc came on the ground telling us every deficiency in pdp we all believe them including myself 2015 and line up votes i did tell you my people but see and today now nah. see and today worse than any government we've ever had in this war in nigeria before so my people don't forget to like us to share to subscribe Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Don't forget, stay safe and look after those around you. God bless you and bye for now.